a day full of fun-filled surfing activity known as the Paul Mitchell Neon Supergirl Pro here at Oceanside. Nice to have you out in a boat. The atmosphere of the Supergirl Pro this year is bigger and better than ever. To me, it's like the US Open of female. You know, it's about bringing girls together and, and right now there's just such a, a huge movement of women just empowering each other to go out there and have a try. There's a lot to check out if you're a spectator, which is cool, or a fan. We've got the stage set up for musicians to come and play. The atmosphere at the event is awesome. All the factors that they bring to this event, the music, the skateboarding, the surfing, you know, just making it a great time for families, I think it's really special. You know, all these little shops everywhere and it's all about women and empowering women and lineup of people on the pier as well. So you're kind of surrounded like a, a little stadium, which is, it's fun. It's really exciting and high energy, so it keeps you psyched all day. <laughs> So we are at the Paul Mitchell Neon Supergirl Pro Surf Event in Oceanside, California. And inside this beautiful Paul Mitchell Neon tent, we are doing braids and pink extensions for $5. And all of the donations go to a charity called No Place for Hate. We're having autograph si signings with our athletes and just having a great time at the surf event. The reason I love this comp so much is how it empowers young women to be strong, to pursue their dreams, and have that never give up attitude. Oh my God! Beautiful place to watch a surf event and Mother Nature providing some sort of opportunity at some moment. Coming in hot right now, Carissa Moore. Amazing snap right there. So Carissa, here she goes. Carissa, so skilled and versed. There you go. Give her a little bit of love, would you, out there? Julia is someone I grew up surfing with. She's really talented. Um, one of her strengths is she's a wave magnet. She, she um, does a really good job positioning herself in the lineup. Julia, last wave score 5.73. 5.73. Not quite enough, but uh, a healthy score nonetheless. It's so close that we both had kind of equal opportunities, and I think maybe Krista hitting more of a closeout section made the difference. Um, but I thought. My second wave was pretty decent, and yeah, I just didn't get like just that one little extra opportunity to get the score I needed. This is semifinal heat number two. Here we go, one wave, two surfers, with priority Carolyn Marks. And she's more interested in her backhand, but actually both of them looking at uh, the backhand. Marks right here, we know that she needs something in the uh, high four range. Carolyn Marks with a 7.50 takes the lead. Um, the conditions were really fun. Me and Coco both had um, some opportunity. And um, my 7.5 was um, pretty much, I did all my work in the inside in the shore break. And I, it was like a little mid chip. I caught the chip on the outside and like, um, it was pretty fun. I was stoked. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Coco Ho, she needs another win. Well, she's going to need an 8.73 or better her 5.60 to chip away at the lead. I was looking forward to that heat, and uh, I just kind of let priority go and gave her her best two scores, so nothing I can do. Caroline Marks, the 16-year-old at San Clemente, goes into her first final. Let's set the stage for the 35-minute battle where one of these two goddesses will walk out with a cape and a $10,000 check and 6,000 QS points. And this is Carissa Moore in the red, getting after it. Come on, folks, put your hands together. Three-time world champion. She can hear you. You get a 7.67. Now Carolyn Marks. She's looking at it. She takes it. She's going to fire down the line towards you folks on the pier. Oh, lays it back and uses that core muscle and that leg strength to stay on it. I definitely didn't get the best ways in that heat, but I feel like the ways I did catch, I surfed really well, kind of as good as you can surf them, and um, I'm just really stoked on that. In five, four, three, two, one. And that is a wrap. Ladies and gentlemen, Carissa Moore is your 2018 Paul Mitchell Super Girl Pro. She hails from Oahu, Hawaii. She takes the Supergirl Okay, Put your hands together for the queen, the Supergirl, Carissa Moore. It feels really good to, to finally come out on top here at the Supergirl Pro. It was just nice to put together a few heats and being able to just put up a couple of scores gave me a lot of confidence, so I'm really stoked. 
Chris Moore, and I'm a Supergirl.